Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to talk about passion. I see a lot of people they are struggling about finding their passion. And every single day they are always asking themselves, what is my passion? And how do I find my passion? But in reality, they just overthinking, they stuck and they feel overwhelming about finding their passion or finding their purpose of their life. And the other day, they spend a lot of time doing something unrelated, something that unimportant for their lives, like playing the video game, watching TV, and going the social media. And most importantly, I see a lot of people, they love comfort zone, they love security, rather than doing something new, striving to do something different and something they, they never think of. I think comfort zone or security is the trap of limiting our passion or limiting our energy. Furthermore, what is the passion and how do we find our passion? When we talk about and discuss about the definition of passion, I think we will see many definitions out there. Depend on people's perspective, people's purpose. And personally, for me, I give the definition of the passion depend on my purpose of my life, depend on my perspective. I think passion is a strong feeling of enthusiasm or excitement about something or doing something that we really enjoy, something that energizes us to get out of bed. And most importantly, how do we actually find our passion? Well, I will share with you depend on my own experience. First of all, I decided to study abroad when I created from high school and I got exclusive to study in China that I think it is the decision important that I make for my entire life. So I decided to stay away from my parents and choosing the independent life that I think it is a experiment that I want to make on myself. Staying alone out of my country to try to do something new and tasting many things different that I never thought of. I travel not a lot but it's really enough and especially in China I learn a lot about the Chinese civilization, Chinese culture and I meet a lot of people. They have a different perspective on how to find their passion or what is the purpose or to success in their life. And personally, when I come to China, I chose study architecture for my career. And the first year, it really stuck and I feel burned out. And unfortunately, it really darkness nine that I ever come through. And the first year, I really feel burned out and unmotivated because I don't know nothing about drawing and about sketching the something that related my career. And most importantly, at that time, I interested in programming and I started to study by myself about writing code or about programming. I learned by myself almost five months and after that I feel like it's not my passion. It's just my temporary passion and I rely that it is not so hard. It's hard because I don't pay much more attention to study it or I don't focus more and putting all my effort to do something 
that related to my career, so it's like drawing, sketching, or even study about the architecture. So I decided to wake up early and spend one hour every morning study to sketching and drawing everything that I want. And day after day, until one day, it become my enjoyable. It become my passion. It become one of my routine or one of my habit that I have to do every single morning. And when the second year start, I feel like I'm more interested in and I'm more motivated on my career. And most importantly, I rely on myself that like to do something. That's like reading. Obviously, I read a lot in this few year. I read approximately 100 book. It's just a physical book. And I read a lot, especially when I look down 2020 and I read every single day. And sometimes one book per day. Especially I really enjoy listen to audio book that I can learn many things and I listen many books. And afterwards I enjoy watching YouTube video about many topics and I know many content creator that they make great content that I really enjoy to watch. Just like about self development, about motivation, about business, about finance, investing and even the technology and especially about the new related technology just like blockchain or cryptocurrency that I, and I really enjoy about it. So, and after that I realized that if I learn something from the book that I ever read, the book that I ever listen, and the video that I watch every single day, and I realized that if, if I combine it and to make it content that I really enjoy, because personally for myself I really enjoy and love to share what I learned with other people, especially encouraging other people, motivating other people to get out of the darkness that I ever experienced. So I want I want to help them to initiate them to do something that they really want in life. Furthermore, so how to actually find our passion? Well, I think the first you can write down or or interesting thing that you really enjoy to do. Write down on the people and you pick the most important thing that you really enjoy the most and really affect and improve your life. So pick just pick one thing in a one time and do it for 30 days. And if you can control your emotion and can commit to hear the 30 day, I think it will become automatic your road routine or become your habit or your passion. And here I think about being passionate about something, it starts with a choice. So the first you choose an interest and then you work on it consistently and then it becomes your passion. I think the great way to find your passion is to take action not just overthinking just take action so just try many things don't just sit down and sleep overthinking at night and you feel like overwhelming about what you what do you really want in life so just take action and especially be careful about what are you doing right now your action right now is your future so don't try to figure out what is your future. Looking on your moment action, what are you doing right now? Are you learning? Are you playing the video game? So just focus on your moment. Forget about your past and care less about your future. Just focus on your moment. Asking yourself, what is the thing that you can do in in your moment that you can do right now that really important for you to 
make your future more better. So just focus on your moment, and most importantly, just try many things, taste many food, travel many places, read many books, or doing something that you really enjoy and something that many people will pay you when you become professional. And most importantly, I think people never regret about something that they did in their past, but they will regret about something that they have not doing in the past. So just try many things. Just make a lot of mistakes. Enjoy a lot of things that you never think of. Don't just overthinking. In conclusion, I think you can start to ask yourself what is the thing that really energize you to get out of the bed and start to do something that you really want to do in your life. Passion is what you repeatedly do, not what you think. So I think the compound interest is really important in our life. So if you want to become something, just just start doing today. And I think if we spend at least one hour every single day, and the next five years, we will be a professional. So it's really crucial to understand that. And that's it. It's what I want to talk with you today. So I hope it really inspiring you and really motivate you to figure out and find your passion. So I will see you in the next video.